Hi friends, welcome to Predict the Unpredictable, where I give you very important topics for the UPSC Prelims Examination 2025. Guys, I have promised under this initiative every day I will discuss one topic where I will trace that current affairs to a PYQ, previous year question. So we are going to discuss every day at least one PYQ and we are going to link to the current affairs. The idea is to help you understand how to study, how to integrate PYQs, how to understand what is important, what is not important. So every day this initiative, do not miss any video of this initiative. I can tell you next year in the prelims examination, you will see a lot of questions coming from this initiative. So guys, let us start. So today I have selected a very important topic, which is antimicrobial resistance. Guys, as per WHO, antimicrobial resistance is going to be one of the most important health crisis which we are going to face in the future. And this topic you can see is in news for multiple reasons. Recently, WHO has come out with a report according to which it, it has said that the pollution from the antibiotic manufacturing units is causing antimicrobial resistance. There is another news that the United Nations General Assembly is going to keep a high level meeting on antimicrobial resistance on 26th of October, September this month. So why this topic is important? So if we analyze a PYQ which has come on this topic, you can see a PYQ which has come in the year 2019. Which of the following are the reasons for multi drug resistance in microbial pathogens in India? So guys already UPSC in 2019, which is around five years back has asked a question on antimicrobial resistance. Let us try to solve this question and then I'm going to give you exactly what UPSC is going to ask this year. So guys, the options are genetic predisposition of some people taking incorrect doses of antibiotic cure diseases using antibiotics in livestock and multiple chronic diseases in some people. So guys, we know that antimicrobial resistance or antibiotic resistance generally happens because of overuse of antibiotics and irrational use of antibiotics. So statement two is correct. Also guys, antibiotics are misused in animal rearing for used as kind of a growth promoters and that is also leading to antimicrobial resistance that was also covered in this year's Hindu newspaper in the month of April, which is also I'm going to share. So guys, this is also the right. So answer will be two and three will be the answer. Two and three will be the answer. Now guys, let us see what kind of questions we can expect from this topic. So guys, we have already seen UPSC has asked a question on what is the reason for antimicrobial is the reason it has already asked. So what do you think? What can be probable questions in the coming years? So in the coming years, what UPSC can do? UPSC can ask you question upon, okay, the antibiotics, the antibiotics, okay, against which the this bacterias are getting resistant. Okay. And or UPSC can ask what, what are the initiatives? What are the initiatives at the global level and at the national level to counter this antibiotic resistance? So I'm going to discuss all this in this video guys. So first of all, let us see what this article talks about. One of the important reason what the article talks about is that apart from the irrational use and overuse of antibiotics, Another reason is what effluence from the manufacturing units of antibiotics. This is also causing antibiotic resistance. So here they can add you one more reason, which is effluence from the pharma companies. Okay, this is also very important. Another point which is very important is you can see here they have mentioned two bacteria, E. coli bacteria and they have mentioned Acinobacter bacteria. These two bacteria are getting resistant to various antibiotics. The third line of antibiotics, which is carbapenem, carbapenem. So this E. coli and Acinobacter, these two bacteria are also very important, which is covered in this news item. The ICMR has found these two bacteria along with, you can see they have also found out one more bacteria. You can see Acinobacter, Klebeisla pneumonia, Klebeisla pneumonia. Okay. Further guys, let us see 
what kind of questions UPSC can ask. So UPSC can ask one health concept of one health because one health can play a very important role in controlling this antimicrobial resistance. Guys, one health approach to health is when we integrate plant health, animal health and human health together, it comes one health. So this is very, very important. Further guys, there is a gram report on antimicrobial resistance. Further guys, there is an initiative called glass initiative of WHO. So they can ask you various initiatives of WHO and they can say which of the followings are related to antimicrobial resistance. So guys, please remember the glass initiative of WHO, which stands for global antimicrobial resistance and use surveillance system. There is guys another important topic global framework for development and stewardship to control antimicrobial resistance a joint venture of WHO FAO and the organization of animal health. Okay, so this is also very very important further government of India has taken various initiatives. You can see here AMR surveillance network national action plan for containment of antimicrobial resistance AMR surveillance and red line campaign red line campaign is a very important campaign guys you know that there are some antibiotics if misused they can lead to antimicrobial resistance so guys those antibiotics government has put them in a new schedule called schedule h1 schedule h1 in the drugs and cosmetics act 1945 and these schedule h1 drugs okay there will be having what red line there will be having a red line in order to prevent the over the counter sale of these drugs okay so that misuse of these drugs should not happen so this h1 schedule h1 drugs is very very important you can get a question on schedule h1 drugs or what is this red line campaign what is this red line campaign okay so i think since upsc has already asked question on the causes of antibiotic resistance okay what they can ask you this time is that they can ask you what are the initiatives to counter this antimicrobial resistance this is a very very important question upsc can ask further upsc can also ask the name of antibiotics which are being misused in animal husbandry which are being misused in uh, day to day life when we are using antibiotics further guys you can see this was a news item which was in the month of april this year you can see there is one initiative which is called prescriber today and steward tomorrow prescriber today and steward tomorrow this is also for controlling antimicrobial resistance further guys who has released 20, in 2019 aware classification what is aware classification of antibiotics because aware classification of antibiotics has various groups like access group watch group and reverse group these three groups of antibiotics are very very important particularly the reverse group because you can see here these group of antibiotics reverse group of antibiotics classes should be reversed for treatment of confirmed or suspected infections due to multi drug or resistant organisms antibiotics in reserve group should be treated as last resort antibiotics last resort antibiotics so reserve group is very very important so guys you see how we have linked the pyq to the current affairs okay already upsc has asked this topic in the current affairs so in future what we have to do is that okay how what we have to do is that any topic which we study suppose we are studying this antimicrobial resistance so already upsc has asked what causes antimicrobial resistance okay already asked pyq upsc has asked so in future what they can ask you they can ask you about initiatives to control the antimicrobial resistance or they can talk about the names of some antibiotics and names of some microbes or which has or bacteria which have become resistant to various antibiotics this is how we do level one level two level three analysis and guys that is what i am doing in my prelims mentorship bat in my test series i am only framing questions using the pyq analysis of the previous year questions and linking in them with the current affairs daily daily at least one question i'm going to make on the video the idea is to help you understand padhna kaise hai padhne aa gaya aapko na to aapko koi rok nahi sakta selection se so guys aapko ye video acha laga to zarur like kijiyega aur is video ko aap share bhi kijiye apne doston se thank you guys bye bye take care